A Ukrainian opposition politician has been detained in the Italian city of San Remo at the request of Kiev. Igor Markov is now facing extradition on charges of hooliganism relating to a case dating back almost a decade. And Markov has a history of falling out with his uh, current country's governments. His illegal travels started back in 2007 when he was involved in an altercation with a rival group at a political protest. The former MP was finally arrested over that in 2013 and spent months in detention. After the coup in Kiev, Markov was released by the new authorities to loud cheers. However, after Markov voiced his support for the plight of the rest of eastern regions of Ukraine, the old hooliganism case resurfaced and he was put back on the wanted list. Tensions spiked even more this summer when he co-founded an opposition group calling for the prosecution of both the current and previous Ukrainian presidents. A couple of weeks later, Markov was arrested in Italy. Now, Markov supporters view the case as politically motivated, which could actually stop the extradition should an Italian court agree. Still, the former MP is doing better than many uh, other opposition members and journalists in Ukraine. Over the past 18 months, there's been a string of deaths in the country of those who have spoken up against the current authorities. Now, among uh, the uh, one of the most uh, widely reported was the killing of anti-Kiev journalist Oles Buzina this April. Many other sudden deaths among opposition figures have been ruled out as suicides. Other key figures have faced public humiliation. One of the most popular ways of doing that saw them being thrown into rubbish bins. It came under a call to purge the ranks of power from any representatives of the old toppled government. And as for Markov's detention in Italy, we asked Interpol for clarification, but it responded it doesn't comment on specific cases. And even in special circumstances, it would still need the approval from the country involved. A political analyst, Daniel Welch, thinks the present-day opposition in Ukraine finds itself in a very tough position. The situation inside Ukraine is so awful for opposition politicians or anyone who holds an anti-Maidan view. The Party of Regions was uh, abolished. The Communist Party was abolished. The Borotva offices were set aflame in various cities. Uh, you have the Odessa massacre barely a year ago. To say that opposition is being suppressed is almost a neurotic understatement. The entire country is being kind of transformed like Plato. Whatever you can find that is against this paranoid vision of Ukrainian nationalism is being suppressed in the uh, public sphere.